How effective were the ancient javelins? Javelins are not as fast and don't travel as far as a shot from a sling. They are more expensive than stone and difficult to carry in quantity. Close combat troops will have a couple of heavy javelins to throw at close range before combat. Skirmishers, on the other hand, would use lighter javelins so that they can throw further. The validators using Veruta, roughly 1 meter long javelins, may have used this tactic. However, details are scarce. In modern times, the maximum range of the javelin is 105 meters, achieved by Uwe Hohn. And the unofficial record was 112 meters with pirouette style. The modern Olympics changed the javelin and restricted the styles to keep it safe and within the limits of a modern track and field stadium. In contrast, the ancient Olympics permitted the use of an unkilled ornamentum which puts a lot more emphasis on technique. I couldn't find any record of range, but there is a hint in debate. Statius describes a chariot course as being three times a bow shot and four times a javelin throw. Three quarters of a bow shot would be around 100 to 150 meters. What did the javelin look like? The javelin for distance throws was different than the javelin for target shooting, hunting and warfare. The point for range was smaller and lighter than the leaf-shaped point of the target javelin. This made the javelin lighter with a center of mass near the center of the javelin, shortening the static margin and increasing the effect of lift on the shaft. The javelin was roughly 1.9 meters long and as thick as a finger. The wood used was elder, with an amentum attached near the middle. It seems that the javelin for range was long, thin and light, optimized for lift. It might have been as thin and flexible as an atlatl dart. This is a theory that needs testing in the future. According to Gardner, the amentum was 30 to 45 cm long, natural fiber cord or leather strap that was firmly bound around the shaft so that it formed a 7 to 10 cm loop in which the thrower inserts his first and middle fingers. In Anabasis, Xenophon mentions that the Greeks wrapped throwing strings on 90 cm long arrows shot by the enemy, but it is unclear if they threw them immediately back to their enemies traveling the same distance as a bow shot or if they used them after closing up to their enemies. In previous tests with arrows and the throwing string, there was an increase in range, but the range was nowhere near 200 meters an ordinary arrow thrower could reach according to Payne Galway. The main difference is that the amentum leaves the hand and might stay attached to the javelin during its whole flight, while the throwing string stays wrapped around the fingers. The amentum spreads the load between two fingers and is more suitable for something heavier. Writers in the recent centuries mentioned distance increase from 25 meters to 80 meters with amentum. With very limited practice I can do over 25 meters by hand, so I'd say the throwers were not very skilled at bare hand throwing. But at the time of making this video I can't reach the distances mentioned with the amendment. Until throws. <laughs> 